Poco? Come. My dog and I haven't always been super connected, and I'm working on that. Poco? Come. We live in the city, for example, so she's always on a leash. I worry that if it slips off my hand for some reason, she won't come when I call her, and I fear she can hurt herself. So one of the most important skills I had to teach my stubborn dog was the recall command, and that is exactly the skill she has the most difficulty with. Poco? Come. But first a disclaimer, this is Poco, she's just over 9 months old now. She's a Siberian Husky and we live in Brazil together. Although to be honest, her spirit belongs nowhere. Since her very first day with us, Poco has been exposed to behavior training in general. Because of that she's super clever and has already learned so much. She can spin, sit, offer her pawn, touch on command, she has a very good heel and also know the difference between right and left, which if I must say is smarter than most humans. What she won't do though is to come when I call her. And I understand the word is far too interesting for that man. Like look, a leaf or digging a hole in the sand. Or better yet, another dog! So before training Poco to come on command, you should know that she has already built a hierarchy of the principles I'm gonna talk about in this episode. So in reality, I'll be using the same tools I used to train her to do all of those other tricks. Setting the dog up for success, markers and high value treats. The only difference is that this time it's a trick she's choosing not to learn. I so the first concept I used was to set up the training in a way that she can't do anything else but succeed. So in teaching every trick, there's a puzzle to be solved in which the main question is how do I give the dog motivation? In the case of the recall command, after lots of thinking and research, this is what we came up with. Someone else would hold her from a distance and then offer something she absolutely wants. It can be a treat, but also a toy or someone she adores, which is anyone, really. Whatever it is, once she's clearly motivated to come, the idea is that the other person can only release her once the recall command is said. Come. And it did work, although more with other people than with me. But hey, even if it wasn't perfect, we did help Poco associate the command with the proper action by her own choice. And beyond that, she began to understand it's a good thing and she gets what she wants by doing it. Now the recall command has to be as sharp as it can be for her own safety. Come. So I also added another layer of reinforcement through something called markers. We, whenever Poco does an action correctly, she's met with a sound followed by a reward. Come. We, the marker is a way to communicate to your dog that, hey, you did a cool thing just now and I'll pay you for that. This is something I learned from Nate Schumer's channel, which is amazing and you should check it out if you're serious about training your dog. So I used two markers to communicate with Poco. We, we use the French word oui when she's done something well and I'll come wherever she's at to give her a reward. Come. Good, come. The other marker I use is the word good. Good. This marker tells Poco she can break whatever position she's in and come get her reward with me. Again, this is something Poco has known since she was a baby, but any dog can be introduced to this concept if you start small enough. Like marking the act of following your hand filled with food so the dog gets accustomed to following your gestures. Oui. Oui. First the command is given. Then Poco does the action, then I mark that action with the respective marker Good. and only then she receives the treat. By now she understood what I wanted and was getting better for sure, but despite all that, some days during this training I felt we were the most disconnected. She would literally look at me, understand what I wanted her to do and then choose not to do it. It was tough, I often became frustrated and blame it on her actually. It didn't help that the people we met in the streets often messed up the training by approaching her with cuddles and other dogs. Attention, come. But of course they do, she's gorgeous, always in a good mood and always ready for a new adventure, whatever. In a way she's the only family I have and I don't feel I own her, it's more like we are a team. I mean because of Poco I'm waking up early, taking long walks, I hate her. <laughs> and I love her. So I had to suck in any ego that I had about this and realize it wasn't her fault if she failed, it was on me. It was probably because I was placing it with something bad, Come, like ending the walk in the park for example. 
If I only call her for correction or to go home, she will not like to do it. Your puppy will do more of the things that feels good and less of what feels bad. That's why a young dog is probably an asshole to begin with and just do whatever it wants. It's only with enough time and patience and training that it will grow to become an awesome friend later on. She doesn't like tuna for example, but I insisted way too long with it. Sometimes I pushed her over the limit when she was already too tired. And it wasn't every day I had the patience nor the time to be fully present with my dog. And although I'm not perfect, I'm lucky she's a smart one. I apologized to her many times and together we kept training. Only this time I decided to do something I was avoiding until now. If I was the one asking for something way harder than normal, I had to pay her way higher. So with the risk of spoiling an already stubborn dog, I only gave her the recall command with the sole purpose of giving her fruits, chicken and other high value treats. And with that she got better and better as the days went by. Come. Until I was finally able to just let go of the leash in public for the first time and just say Poco, come! And she did. Oui. I like to think she finally became my friend and I'm super anxious for all the new adventures we're gonna do together. Hey, I'm Leo and I also learn new and different skills by myself. So leave a like and subscribe for more. Also, follow pictures of us on Instagram and stuff. Bye-bye!